as our Fevremont suffered, without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word, such an inspiring visage. Your Majesty shall have my eternal yeah, fealty. Your no Majesty, of how long I have waited this moment. the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the Sovereign let us be united in the hope that our legions reign when they are end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life, both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Is it you? No? Hmm, it is hard to say. If the pawn I'm looking for does, are you the one then? Speak up, you good-for-nothing pawns! Which of you is it? Is it you? No? Mm. Aye, it must be you. You've got an arrogant look about you. Aha! I thought I recognized you.
I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards! What do you want? another time. I'm on duty. Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Time for you to get to work. These old bones. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. is quite cluttered. Pray leap over all that post safe. A job well done. Now the next step is to What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate.
situation demands. For welcome protection from attacks. Boulders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons that have never combated. I would recommend pinging to the No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn.
Keep your distance, Arisen. Worry not for me. The grind may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a Rift Stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back. It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Exactly is this jail you say you escaped from anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly not like that here in Burma. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Burma being sent there. Still, I can hardly believe it. A group. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. If you find your strength flat, try the curative or have a bit of green. When one of the fiends comes to you, best die or dodge, or she'll be sore on the morrow. Make use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their... Have you beheld the dragon as yet? I've not. I found that a lesson. All I know for sure is that it's a beast of our more than it. to be sure. That's the Sovereign's duty, isn't it? When the dragon rears its ugly head, the Sovereign appears among the people and steps forth to challenge it. I dare say Vermin owes much of its prosperity to the Sovereign's first the dragon, now a griffin. I pray these omens are not as ill as they seem. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way.
Before you stands a rift stone. It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray. Summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Pawns are known as crossers of the rift, for we are able to connect to and traverse other realms beyond this one. When we return, it is our duty to use our experiences and the knowledge we have gained to aid you on your journey arisen. From this day forth, I shall serve you as your loyal pawn, and aught I learn beyond the rift will be at your disposal. Well, I'll be... A pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Tis the name given to fates chosen, those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Riftstones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the Riftstones that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature. For I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. A 
treasure chest. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. We must rest, though the sun is still up. A moment long awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before your skills reached a new height. There's no discipline that steadfast devotion cannot teach. I'd hasten home, were this not my duty. Hey all. You a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Ocado. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The lad can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fie! I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. And Ocado's as well, I'm sure. We must fly to the aid of those in need. I. I'm about to commence the troops' training regime. It is a task that demands focus. So if tisn't an urgent matter, it can wait till after we're done here. I'll gather this. It might be of use.
So close a call offers no solace in victory. Is that all of them? Yeah, you have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder, till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. We'd best report back. Hey, old friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. Twas a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. Twas a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. We have succeeded in defending our charge. Now I've got and stepped in it. We're running low on everything. From provisions to crafting materials for weapons and armor. We've had a hard time procuring goods, what with all the monsters lurking on the roads alone. I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just taken stock, and I fear the list I gave him was incomplete. What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? <laughs> You'll be paid, of course. Glad to hear it. Here, take this list of additional supplies to Marcus. He ought to be somewhere north of here. Hand him the note, and he'll take care of the rest. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. I'd hasten home, were this not my duty. If your plane had arisen in search of preferable treatment, you'll be... Other thing. We've not counted a thief among our number for some time. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. This is generally used as a material. That's everything assembled. A job well done if I do say so myself. Oi, did you need something? This is from Sir Geoffrey, is it? 
Let's have a look then. Why? He wants these as well, does he? I thought I was finished. Why should I have to do all this on my own? I've got plenty to carry as teeth. Say, your arms look free. You can handle that list in my stead. And make haste. I would depart for the encampment even a moment sooner. Well, go on. You know what to do. Let Just commence our search without delay. Where to first? You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Haven't you anything for me yet? Well, you best get to it then. How goes it? Have you gathered... Shall we report our results? How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Brilliant! I knew I could count on you. Here, take this for your trouble. I'll be heading back to the encampment now. They'll be expecting me. Oi, many thanks for passing on that list to Marcus for me. As I hear it, you even assisted him in gathering the supplies. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Anyway, you've been a great help. I hope I can count on your aid again should the need arise.
our efforts have seen the encampment resupplied, and Sir Geoffrey with one less care. A good... I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. There's a ladder here. I'd hasten home were this not my duty. If your plane had arisen in search of preferable treatment, you'll be sorry. Your head is like to roll ere long. the bow prevail where the blade cannot. Pray, allow me the chance to demonstrate my skills as an archer. Delighted to meet you, especially if we share a sweet tooth. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few.
Now there's a worthy prize. If only to work so far away. Slow your feet. You run too fast for the likes of me. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. I'll wager I could make that shot. Go right ahead. Tis no more or less than what one might have expected. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. So this is Merle. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. When the Arisen appears, so too does the dragon. It is an immutable truth of this world. Pity a Well met. Pleasure doing business with you. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. I wish I knew your restraint arisen. Hast thou forgotten thy destiny, thy charge? It is most unfortunate, but it doth not release thee from thy fate.
Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. It was terrible. I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. But you hung on and by some miracle survived. Arisen, I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I fear you have no memory of this either. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. Everson. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. We may benefit from pursuing the information. Have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. Oh, no. I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I heard tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. Made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? What? You'd do that? You'd get the medicine for me? I suppose there's no harm in that. If you're really sure... Oh, sir, I'd be most grateful. Seems my luck's not as rotten as I'd thought. I'll wait right here for your return, sir. And many thanks for your kindness. We could make the fruit reborrant ourselves, or simply purchase some at Rune's Apothecary here in Mel. Yes, of course. I see it now. We might make the fruit reborrant ourselves, or purchase some at Rune's Apothecary in Mel. I know the way. Follow me. We're in. Your hand, sir. 
Much obliged. Ah, well met. Here for some fruit, Roberant, are we? Always a pleasure. The recipient awaits, Master. Hello again, sir. Say, have you brought some fruit robberant for me? Oh, so this is what it looks like. Brilliant. Many thanks, sir. I haven't much to offer in return. I'll be sure to tell Grandfather what you did for us. He'll want to reward you proper like, I'll bet. It was a pleasure to recount such good tidings. Let's see a look at my wares. Do come again. Well, Matt, you're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vacation. Well, now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Tis a vacation for those who seek to master the sword and shield. Fighters favor a balanced approach, excelling in both offense and defense, and can adapt to any situation. I am a fighter myself. And should there come a time when you impress me with your prowess, I might be willing to impart unto you some of what I know. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which vocation you adopt. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. Take this. Tis something I found. I wanted you to have it. So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. I say we speak with anyone and everyone who springs to mind. You never know what sort of useful tidbits we might turn up.
Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Always a pleasure. This ladder can take us to new heights. Ah, oh, excellent find. Yet they thought we were falling. I would gladly be obeyed. Never fear, for I am here. Here you are, Master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait right there. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. Turn by now. Mayhap this time I went looking for. Them. Fancy look at my wares. Always a pleasure. Well met, sir. Shopping is such fun. I hope our coin purse isn't too much lighter. Tis as you say. <sighs> I've a selection of where. That's sure to pleasure doing business with. Ah, you've returned. 
Good timing, too. I have questions for you. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Good. Then let us be on our way. If I might be so bold as to speak my mind? Different masters favor different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. Each to their own. We've got goblins! Shame I've no advantage against this boat. Are we all in the same boat? Good. Let us make for the capital. I can look for two flowers. Glad to be of service. Well said. I'll gather this. It might be of use. The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermin. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet, not all claims are true. Our people as many protectors, and they are not dealt with. Regardless, we will not be I shan't allow any further harm to me. about this one. Is there nothing we can do about this obstacle? If a ranged attack is needed, you can count upon my aim. Might I be of assistance? Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An Arisen, by all appearances. An Arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. Tis uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say?
All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. Or it may have befallen it. Best we press on. A treasure chest! I can hardly wait to open it. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? If you don't mind. None of us alike in vocation. That is most fortuitous. I see it as a glad thing. We are well poised to supplement each other's strengths. Unless my eyes deceive me, there's something down there. Everyone all right. More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. The creature's corpse will serve us well. You cut quite the hunter's figure. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that wind go to face. Battle is best of
Over so soon? Why, we seem to have come through unscathed. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. <laughs> Indeed arisen. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! It might await us on the road ahead. Uncommon materials can be found here, methinks. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find? How do you like that? Ensure your next attack is no less perfect. Pleasure to meet you. And here I was hoping for some great treasure. Oh, now I feel a fool. Might there be aught over there? We ought to take a closer look. <sighs> You're staring, Arisen. Has aught yonder caught your eye? A fantastic find. This is why I shall never tire of our adventures.
this. We're trapped. Encounter one here of all places. A cyclops? Oh, pray, be on your guard. A cyclops draws near. I had taken you for another force arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the valley you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch. And I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the Oxcart. Tis your decision. the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Very well. Board the ops cart and we'll be off. I see a ladder yonder, but we can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. We're sitting out. Jump on if you're paid. Goblins! What rotten luck! We've need of your aid again, sir.
Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All right. Into the ox cart, then. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That Arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the Sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule, yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous consul, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct Your Majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the Sovereign in your stead. A mere puppet. However, with your Majesty returned, 
I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Disa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Little did I expect to find you here. I do not engage in idle chatter while on duty. Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Consarn it! Get back here! see an urchin in a cap run past just now. Can you tell me which way he went? Thought you could hide, eh? Oi! Halt! thing making a living as a soldier pray allow me to open your chest hmm? oh tis you you're the good sir who aided me in Melv Thank you again, sir. You don't know how grateful I am to you. Oi, sir! We've started selling that medicine you gave me at our shop. Why don't you come see? Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Melv? I thought so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other. For all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Now listen, tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Pray, make good use of it, won't you? I brought you something. Welcome and well met. Don't... Think I've forgotten your discount. Do come again. Nothing caught your eye? Oh, that's a shame. Let's hope there's aught worth our coin next time. The Arisen is ever prudent in the application of coin.
sorry to lead. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. I've heard some interesting tidings about town. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes? Twould seem the Queen Regent has made significant- Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? I thank you. Your Majesty, there are three locales that have seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermin. There is no shortage of beasts that need culling in this world. There is surely no challenge to which we cannot rise. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. You will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of you, yet I fear we have few other options. I have attempted to do the same through my own channels before now, though I have yet to uncover so much as a whisper of her plots. Would that I could undertake the task myself, but my station prohibits me from reckless action. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? I shall ensure that the door to the Queen Regent's office is open between midnight and dawn. Pray use that time to conduct your investigation. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen. Of all those who serve the Queen Regent, there is but one who I have no doubt will lend his support to your Majesty's cause. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. Many a time has Deezer demanded Waldor amend the Code of Vermont to her own benefit. And many a time has the Magistrate refused her, for he is loyal to none but the spirit of the law. As a result, he now sits in a cell beneath the palace. Our laws dictate that your Majesty is our rightful ruler. Thus, 
As the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor will be willing to vouch for your majesty. What say you? Might you be willing to aid me in arranging the magistrate's release? I've prepared a means for you to enter the palace dungeons. Pray, take this. This mission demands the utmost secrecy. Prithee be cautious, your majesty. Should you be discovered, I will be unable to lend aught in the way of aid. in here. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. If you must go off on your own, there's naught to be done. I only hope you'll return sooner rather than later. Tis not... It's our place to hurry the Arisen. No idle chatter during missions, sir. Shove off. You are the Arisen, yes? The captain gave me your description. Follow me! by you, I will be forced to play my part. Pray be cautious, Your Majesty.
Who's there? Pray, keep your voice low. Twouldn't be good for either of us if someone was summoned to come check on me. Could it be that you have come to bring Mother's schemes to light? I, I am Sven, the son of Queen Regent Deesa. Mother has been acting rather strangely of late. I thought to investigate the matter whilst she was away. I gather tis the same for you. I can't imagine what else would have summoned you here. to say that you are the true Arisen, that the Sovereign currently residing in the palace is a pretender. Could Mother have had a hand in that as well? Regent Kin Sven appears to be missing from his chambers. Have you seen him? Me? No, sir. Then start searching, you fool. Should aught befall the Regent Kin, tis us who'll answer to her grace. Forgive me. My absence seems to have made this rather more difficult for us. You ought leave the palace at once. This room turned up little of interest, but I've a mind to look into this further. I shall send word to Captain Brandt if I discover aught you should know. I'll head out first and speak with the Sentinels. Use that opportunity to make good your escape. I'll admit, I did worry you'd forgotten me. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. How fared your mission? Was there aught suspicious to be found in the Queen Regent's office? This scrap, t'was part of a letter, and from Batal no less. This alone can prove little, but tis clear that Deezer's schemes run deep. To think, Deezer's actions have weighed even on the mind of her own son. Tis a surprise, but a welcome one. Deezer is a, the doting mother before the Regent King. If Regent King Sven is willing to aid us by drawing Deezer's focus, 
we may be able to gain here more useful information. You have done well, Your Majesty. Though I am limited in the aid I am able to offer, I bid you, take this. What could the Queen Region be plotting? How very peculiar. Bezos. Now there's a name to remember. Welcome to the Star Drop In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Must you run so fast? I can hardly keep you in my sights arisen. Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? Let us make haste for the nearest town. I'd rather sell our pickings at market than toss them aside. I'll gather these now. Twould be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Ah, now here's a surprise. Discovery never gets old. Huh. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. On your own, there's naught to be done. I only hope you'll return sooner rather than later. So, you've come. Captain Brandt bade me allow you passage.
Can't expect to fare so well every day. Got to focus. My head will roll if this goes awry. Have you come to release me from this jail? Who are you? Noho! Then we are presented with three options. Either the law of our world that allows only one arisen has been upended, or Deezer's arisen is false, or you are lying to me. Have you proof? that you are arisen, as you say. Ah, they say the arisen's breast bears a wound akin to the dragon's claw. By that mark, t'would seem tis true. This reminds me of a happening 148 years ago. During the reign of Regent Alphonse, a man named Crusoe appeared and claimed to be arisen. He went before the people, insisting that he, and not Regent Alphonse, was the true arisen, the one. And what befell him, you ask? Ha! Crusoe was discovered to be a liar, whereupon his head was liberated from his shoulders on the spot. Aye, I dare say your arrival portends another beheading, but whose will it be, hmm? Escape? But why? Here, I spend my days perusing the code and deciphering old texts. I can devote all my time to my own interests. And I need not turn my ear to Deesa's absurd demands. Tis a paradise to me, this cell. That said, if you know of a place with a mountain of tomes I could delve into, I might rethink the matter. Tell me. Does that ring any bells? I suspected as much. Then we are done here. Leave me be. Can't expect to fare so well every day. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. Bunch of sluggards. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Thank you. 
knew the village would be in a bad way. Must you run so fast? Like we've got goblins. Shame I've no advantage against the spell. Are we all in the same boat? I knew you'd prevail, Master. A few more goblins like that, and we'll have them running for the hills. Leave the finding of equipment enhancing materials to me, Master. I shall sniff them out and mark them on your map. Ah, oh, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Make that shot. Go right ahead. Oh, 
make the most of this opportunity. I shall lead the charge! Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. <laughs> This ox guard was beset by assailants it could not shake. And this is the result. Be on your guard, lest we meet us. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Goblins approach! We have no means of exploiting our enemies. <laughs> A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? I've got a good feeling about this one. chest. I can hardly wait to open it. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Let us defer to the Arisen's judgment. That's just what I was thinking. This is just the sort of place that begs exploring. Tread carefully. One never can be too cautious. <laughs> Wait 
right there. At last! The moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. to have come through unscathed. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Now there's a worthy problem. Oi, you right. Then it's your eyes. Let me know that. Scatter the goblin! You've a strong arm. The goblins are well routed. You have my thanks. It was a simple patrol mission till we walked into their ambush. Those cursed things caught us entirely unawares. I don't know where we'd be if you hadn't come along. I pray you'll let me repay the favor if ever there's a chance. Here, if you please. Unknown is the most perilous. Remain alert, and naught shall catch us by surprise. Glad I am to see the sky again. Such dark depths take their toll on the spirit. I knew it to be so. If your pack grows over full, simply ask me to sell off your surplus items. I'll have the gold for you in a trice.
Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? Oh, let's see. What can we do without? Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. Might there be aught over there? We ought to take a closer look. Ah, now here's a surprise. The thrill of discovery never gets old. Huh. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. Where are we off to next? I shall guide us to our nearest destination. We were to make for Har Village, as I recall. It is not far from here. through unscathed we mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent take each trial as it comes another encounter i feel like this we are already hot pressed on our knees Yon statue may yield new sights, if we can reach it. Climbing it would grant a clearer picture of our environs.
Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. On. Do not waste this chance. We must press home our advantage. Strike fast and true, and our quarry shall fall. It is easy, done. You're soaked. Do you try not to catch cold? I suppose. By your will. The Arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. have come through unscathed. This ox cart's bound for Vernworth. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Britain gets the world. Creature's corpse will serve us well. Go right ahead. Let us 
try for the same result with our next attack. Who next? I suppose the location nearest here would be a good place to start. We were to make for Half Village, as I recall. It's not far from here. I'll wager I could make that shot. Go right ahead. Uncommon materials can be found here, methinks. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find? nearest us. We were to make for Har Village, as I recall. It is not far from here. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Hang in there, Master. I'm coming to assist. by another statue. Why don't we go take a look? I'll wager I could make that shot. You cut quite the hunter's figure. Slow your feet. You run too fast for the likes of me. thought I was leading the way, but I suppose your whims take precedence. 
Tis not for us to gain Savior Risen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. Oh, you've come to a dangerous place. Scaly beasts make this their den. We've been dispatched to cull them. A small force ventured inside, though I've seen neither hide nor hair of them since. Seems the battle is hard won. I'll not stop you if you wish to explore, but don't look for my aid if aught goes awry. Good. We're here. If you're intent on entering... Just the sort of place that begs exploring. Tread carefully. One never can be too cautious. No quarrel here. Fine. There's a haze over my eyes. Can anyone hear me? We need help. I don't want to fall here. God. Damn lizard. This run to draw my last. But Sonic! Too fast for you! Can anyone hear me? We need help! I don't want to fall here! Gah! Damn blizzard! Is this where I'm to draw my last? But Sonic! duty to which I'm I am in your debt sir thanks to your valor I shall live to fight another day dare I say it we trounced him a foe well and true no doubt this triumph will spur us into the next Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. You're not one of ours. 
Have you come to save us? Forgive me. I cannot seem to walk of my own accord just now. Would you aid me in reaching the entrance? That's that then. Well said. Where are we off to next? I shall guide us to our nearest destination. The soldiers delivering freight were last spied near Vermin's eastern edge. That's not far from here. This obstacle shan't get the better of us. There must be a way to remove it. If a ranged attack is needed, you can count upon my aim. I would gladly be obeyed, Arisa. A fantastic find. I wonder whether my master from beyond the rift managed to find that. Somehow, I doubt it. is nigh invisible in this gloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boots. You too? Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one. You went in there to save my fellow soldiers? Well now, I underestimated you, friend. I shall send word of your deeds to the captain. You've done well this day. I thank you. We'll see to the rest of this mess. You need not trouble yourself further. Hold, sir. I'd rethink pressing onward if I were you. The village is crawling with Saurians. Forgive me. I didn't mean to startle you. I used to call this place home, you see, in times more peaceful. Hmm. You're the Arisen, are you? Well, that's something. We were hoping to reclaim our village. But it doesn't seem we'll have much luck. We fled when the dragon attacked some days past thinking we'd return once the baleful thing was gone. Easier said than done, clearly. In our absence, a bask of Saurians have made our homes their own. What are we to do? The guards not like to send soldiers all the way out here. Ah, but mayhap they needn't at all. You are the Arisen, I. Could we trouble you to aid us in our hour of need? Please, sir, do something, anything about the Saurians. The bask of Saurians has made its nest within the village, but not for long, if we have any say in the matter. Careful now! No sense letting the enemy be on your hand. An early Griffin gets the worm! Fall back, and I'll repeat it for that. Wait right there. Destination awaits. We have a few options to go, but I say our best for interest will start with them. The soldiers delivering freight were last despite near Vermin's eastern edge. That's not far from here. Is the deed done, good arisen? 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. We shall all be able to return to our homes at last. I can hardly wait to bring these tidings to the other villagers. I dare say we'll have this place livable again ere long. I cannot thank you enough. Long will you be known as a friend to our village. If you happen to pass by, do come visit us, won't you? I should like for you to see this place as twas afore the dragon's attack. For your sake, as well as ours, we'll do our utmost to see the village restored. A fine job by our merry band. What say we visit again or not to see how the village fares in the aftermath? Right you are. Last, we shall all be able to return to our. I should like for you to see this place as twas afore the. Ah, oh, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. I suppose. By your will. Tis not for us to gain Saviour Risen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. about this one. Master, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep going without rest. You're not the only one. I'm on my last left. Yon statue may yield new sights if we can reach it. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly have Oh, 
Wait, I go. A good sleep does wonders. Come, we've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. My pack's heavy as a sack of rocks. There might even be a few in it. I've got to... Stop picking up every little thing. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be enough. Try not to get hit, lest all that bit go to waste. I'll guide you there directly. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way.
moment of indecision to spell out with you. No more! Uh-oh. Me thinks you're being well, Matt. Perhaps a few more for good measure. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait a minute. Strike hard enough! Find out how to do this Strike fast and true, and our quarry shall fall. Fear not all. Do it well in the map. No grief is cracked with a woman inside. Strike. Now is our best chance. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Pray, slow your feet. You run too fast for the likes of me. Let us endeavor to keep up. Everyone has their own reasons for doing battle, but knowing that doesn't make it any easier to join the fray. Right you are.
I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? Our respective abilities are unique as well. At the end of the day, our vocations are of little... Might there be aught over there? No. We ought to take no sense of letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. <laughs> Did that attack, you would be invincible. Do not despair. I'm coming to your aid. If you would. come through unscathed. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Sir Arisen, thank heavens you've come. Saurians have claimed the village yet again, if you can believe it. Just when almost all of the villagers had arrived as well. Oh, why must these scaly fiends beset us so? Oi, what are you doing standing about when there's work to be done? Jonas, this is the good sir I spoke of, the one who called the Saurians for us. Is that right? Then I expect you to aid us with this mess, stranger. You did it once afore, eh? Only natural you'd help finish the job. My apologies for the Chief's temperament. Yet he speaks truly. We have need of your strength. Pray, calm the beasts as you did before, sir. I dare say you are the only one upon whom we can depend. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. Saurians are no more, I see. That's twice you've come to our rescue now. You're more than a friend to Harv Village, Sir Arisen. You are a hero. Truly, we cannot th Here he is! I found our troublemaker! Jonas! What is the meaning of this? This blasted beastrin went and ventured into Stormwind Cave! How many times have we said none are to tread there? But he just had to poke his nose where it didn't belong. There can be no doubt. 
He's the one who incited the Saurian's attack. Forgive me. I never meant for any of this to happen. <laughs> Trust a beastron to muck things up. Jonas! Surely there's no need for such talk. Ah, you would say that, wouldn't you? Seems to me beastrons go causing problems, and we humans are lumped with the job of cleaning up after them. Jonas, please! You're being ridiculous. There! I do apologize. It would seem things have turned rather uncomfortable. But we mustn't let this sour your triumph. You came to our aid when we needed it most, and for that, you have our gratitude, Sir Arisen. I do hope you shall visit us again anon. Rude fellow I never met. The village's troubles are far from done, if you ask me. We're not done yet, Master. Our next destination awaits. I shall guide us to our nearest destination. The soldiers delivering freight were last spied near Vermin's eastern edge. That's not far from here. Does wonders. Come, we've much to be getting on with. I don't know about you, but I am full of vim and vigor. We have yet more locations to attend to. I shall guide us to our nearest destination. The soldiers delivering freight were last spied near Vermin's eastern edge. That's not far from here. I had a feeling that rest would do us good. Try not to get hit, lest all that rim goes away. Something for your trouble. What I wouldn't give to be inside with a mug of warm ale. Grumbling isn't like to improve our situation, you know. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. Early Griffin gets the word. I've got a good feeling about this one.
turn you into a pincushion. chest. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Approach. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. to notice we've all got different vocations. Our respective abilities are unique as well. At the end of the day, our vocations are of little import. Mutual trust is what counts. Our destination if you continue in that direction, Master. But I suppose we have yet more locations to attend to. I shall guide us to our nearest destination. The soldiers delivering freight will last us near Vermin's eastern edge. 
That's not far from here. Yes, Master. I shall hasten to you. Now, there's a novel idea. I've never seen my own master attempt such a feat. Now that is a surprise. I'll wager I could make that shot. You cut quite the hunter's figure. Useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? Oh, let's see. What can we do without?
product. have grown sluggish. This is one beast we would do better not to enrage. Suffice it to say, we beyond our power to contend with it. How are we meant to attack it without hindering it?
Over so soon? Why? We seem to have come through unscathed. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial another statue. Mayhap will yield us sort of use. Let us make our way over to it while tis in our sights. It's taking every ounce of my strength just to remain standing. Will this march never end? You're not the only one. I'm on my last legs. Oh. Certainly arisen. How might I be a bait? Arisen. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. I say we collect as much as we can carry. to think of it different masters favor different pawns one whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies fascinating Our adventure continues. Off we go then. Feeling rested, I trust? likely path, doesn't it? But how are we to reach it? Indeed. It seems so close and yet so far away.
matter. thought I was leading the way, but I suppose your whims take precedence. Tis not for us to gain the Arisen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. <sighs> Leave a thief unchecked! And we'll soon find daggers in our backs. We ought to proceed with caution. Protect the shipment! Steal yourself! Cut the fiends down! Don't let them touch the shipment! Hey, how did this happen? said. Now we must report to Captain Brock. I thank you for coming to our aid. That was a tight spot you saved us from. And what luck! Nary a scratch on the wares to show for it. The creature's corpse will serve us well. Go right ahead. Might there be aught over there? We ought to take a closer look. Way, if you please, Master. <laughs> Rise 
riding in an ox cart would be a welcome reprieve. Walking everywhere is certainly tough. This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Destroy this, it will have to be from the other side. I'm not altogether happy with this. We're in the right place, but the one we're due to meet has yet to show. Ought we to wait for them? The current hour ill suits our progress. Let us visit an inn or make camp and set out again later. Greetings, Your Majesty. What's this all about? The rules at your mm. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim as a true arisen. You've done a fine job culling those monsters, Your Majesty. Tis common knowledge among the people that t'was you who delivered them from danger. The number of those who seek out this tavern in the hope of an audience with the arisen grows by the day. Should you continue to display such valor, the day will soon come when Deesa can no longer deny your presence, and ere it slips my mind, Pray, take this. Tis a symbol of my own gratitude. Done already, are we? And here I was expecting a challenge. Indeed, you've called more than your fair share of monsters. I expect tales of your valor will soon be told in taverns. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim. A place with books likely to entice Magistrate Waldo, you say? Not springs to mind, I'm afraid. Kendrick of the Gracious Hand is versed in many things. Perchance he knows of such a place? There is much we ought to tend to, if we- I bear word from Regent Ken Spen, Your Majesty. He espied the delivery of a suspicious package to a man named Allard. A minister who happens to be one of the Queen Regent's staunchest and most powerful allies in the palace. From the pains he took to remain on scene, it is plain that Allard wished this delivery kept away from prying eyes. That alone is reason to suspect a connection to Deezer's schemes. We must get to the bottom of it. The Regent Kin intends to call Allard to his chambers come nightfall. He bids you to use this opportunity to search the minister's chambers and see if there's aught to be learned. What say you, Your Majesty? 
Are you willing to undertake this task? I shall ensure that the door to the Minister's chambers is open between midnight and dawn. Pray. Use that time to infiltrate and uncover aught worthy of suspicion. I vow to see this endeavor through to its end. There is much we are to tend to. If we are to strengthen your... For some time now, it was said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds. But as I hear it, he is now well enough to walk unaided. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding masquerade in the palace of late. The false sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken. Even the matter of from where he hails remains a mystery. But may up approaching the false sovereign at one of these gatherings could afford you a glimpse into the man behind the mask. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? My thanks. Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, slip into the venue through whatever opening presents itself. Once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you a fellow masquerader. Here, this should suffice to help you blend in. Take care, your majesty. Ah, there is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and twould be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. While examining the palace ledger for evidence of the Queen Regent's misdeeds, I made a curious discovery. For some time now, it seems, she has been diverting a veritable mountain of gold to the daily purchase of sweet crown flour. What's more, this inexpedient spending habit is recorded to have begun the very day on which Arthur, the would-be arisen, appeared on the scene. This cannot be mere happenstance. I can only conclude that these sums are passing into the hands of Arthur himself. Yet, tis strange, for sweet crown flowers only grow on the eastern edge of Roman. I dare say, t'was not an item chosen idly. Mayhap this knowledge will guide us in our pursuit of the false sovereign. Tis a frail hope to be certain. Yet all the same, I would ask that your majesty venture to Vermont's eastern edge and probe into this young man's origins. I am glad to hear it, for I cannot shake the feeling that uncovering the identity of the false sovereign is the key to unraveling Deez's scheme and securing your enthronement. Greetings. Welcome to here. We conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, 
we are unable to outfit new members. And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by gob. So regrettably, I cannot assist you, unless you were to pre- Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Certain vocations are unavailable at present, save to applicants who already possess the requisite equipment. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our... Methinks Roderick will be... He runs the local armor. May fortune smile upon you, sir. We'll not find anything if we don't start looking. Is it... Sir Roderick is the one to talk to. Shall we go and speak with him? Follow me, Master, a few words. I'll bring you to the one you seek. What In your hand, sir. Much obliged. The rules at your Good. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Ah, I see you have a great sword with you, a fine weapon. You may now change your vocation to warrior, if you wish. If you would prefer to register a sorcerer, you will need to acquire an archer staff. Oh, there's something written here. Shall we take a closer look? Greetings. Well, here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is Or I may assist you with, simply say the word. Have you found any of the items we discussed, perchance? Always a pleasure. I can hardly wait to see you in battle. Master, you'll send the rabble reeling with a single blow. Strike well. Know that we shall aid you as needed.
Greetings. Here, we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is... Do come again! This isn't much to go on. Hail, friend! Have you a spare moment? I've an eye for people, and my instincts tell me you're of trustworthy ilk. I'm in a bit of a quandary, you see. I'm to be gone for a week, with no one slated to mind the ha- Fear not! I only ask your name to list as- I'd be much obliged if you'd- Sound appealing? Then come on by- Take this! Tis something I found, I wanted you to have it. I sense eyes upon us. Oi, friend. Klaus sent word that you've agreed to... Fair warning. Goblin from the tell of it. Their lair. Pray do be careful. It, if all were to go awry, losing my wares for good would make me sore. But no sack of gold can compare to a... Fellow life. Hi. The goblins, I hope you can reclaim aught from the fiends.
It would bring me peace of mind to know someone. Not buying? That's just as well. Mayhap we ought to pay a visit to Travo Mine and search for the armorer's wares. can guide you there, if you wish. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Mayhap we ought to pay a visit to Travo Mine and search for the armorer's wares. I can guide you there, if you wish. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Now there's a worthy prize, if only to work so far away. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. They can be most convenient, though they travel only during the day. Now this is a bridge one can cross without fear. It would be nice to stand here with a stiff drink in hand and admire the view. Weather this pleasant makes me want to kip somewhere with a nice breeze. Tis well that you are in good spirits, so long as you are ready when it counts. I knew it to be so. We fight! Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? The creature's corpse will serve us well. Go right ahead.
Mayhap we ought to pay a visit to Trevo Mine and search for the armorer's wares. I can guide you there if you wish. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. This will seem of little consequence, but some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after I knew of their service. Fascinating. This boulder looks mighty heavy. But we might just be able to move it if we combine our efforts. Shall we set a boat? are at your disposal. Wait right there.
abilities you need. So glad you Last! The moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Water is now invisible in this room. No few times has an overconfident step so tribute. You too? Glad I'm not the only one. Keep you in my sights arisen. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. I suppose we'll be wanting to report back now. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. Alas, twould seem I've taken on too much. Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. I thought you might like this, so I picked it up. Here you go. I suppose. By your will. Tis not for us to gain Savior Risen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. <sighs> A fine place to harvest some ingredients. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Full glad am I to see the sky again. Such dark depths take...
take their toll on the spirit. Tis as you say. Material. Useful things, these. I'll wager I could make that shot. You cut quite the hunter's figure. Look there. Methinks I spy aught of use. Let us ponder how best to proceed. Fancy a broken arm? Well, that's my speciality. Master, I shall hasten to your aid. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. Of it, we've already found what's needed here. It should be in one of our packs. We've arrived, I see. That's a relief. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Marvelous! You have acquired both an archer staff and a great sword. You may now change your vocation as desired, sir. What's more, I bear glad tidings. T'would seem our arms shortage is at an end. I dare say the armory will be resupplied anon. Never for a moment did I doubt you'd go strong. Not bad. 
all things considered. A job well done. What will our next adventure have in store for us, I wonder? I shall lead us to our destination, so do try not to rush ahead. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Here at last. You've come. Glad to see you, friend. So, what say you? Would you care to live here in my absence? As I've said, you needn't worry about tending to the place. Many thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. I'll stop by again in a week's time, but till then, farewell. I'm all for camping, but solid walls are a joy that can't be beat. And I was for a full week at no charge. What a steal. You have my support. We must rest, though the sun is still up. Should we hunt a few monsters to start the day off? Come, we've much to be getting on with. I don't know about you, but I am full of vim and vigor. It was a fascinating tale those soldiers outside the palace were discussing. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Aye. Tell is, her ties to this figure from the neighboring country have a romantic tint. Arms, arms for the poor. Pray grant those less fortunate some salvation. Ingredients up. <clears throat> Arms, arms for the poor. Pray grant those less well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Many thanks. May fortune smile upon you, kind sir. Well met, Sir Arisen. My few can afford perpetual generosity. You want something? Spit it out or piss off. Devotion? Well met, Sir Arisen. My few can afford perpet. Oh. 
prayer alone cannot win us. <laughs> now this is a conundrum. If our prayers are not heeded. What hope have we? It's been a hard day. These writings could be of import. Shall we take a closer look? I'll gather these now. Twould be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. What should I do? Wish I had someone to share this spot with. There's comfort in the humdrum of daily in the mood for a song. Look, I've had enough. Please, no more. Can't work as late as I used to anymore. Look as long as you please. Onward to Vernworth Castle. Let us make for the palace, that you might investigate Minister Allard's chambers. We pawns are barred from entering the palace, but nothing shall keep me from escorting you to the gates. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. I'm afraid I cannot escort you beyond the castle entrance, Master. We will have to part ways till you emerge. So, we finally arrived. You are the Arisen, yes? The captain gave me your description. Follow me! Minister would be more careful. He takes the sentinel posted outside his chambers with him everywhere. There are times when no one's standing watch there at all.
what business could be so pressing that I must be summoned at this late hour? I would not presume to know, my lord. However, it must be a highly sensitive matter for the regent kin to request a private audience. Oh, perhaps the boy has finally grown wise to the benefits my favor can bring. He might just be his mother's puppet, but at least he knows what's good for him. M my lord, if someone were to overhear... Oh, unring your hands, you fool! As if anyone in this palace would dare say a word against me. Now, if Wilhelmina calls, tell her to await me in my chambers. I will return presently. Surely none more important than this. I speak of the ascension of the Sovereign. Indeed. But that, Your Grace, would be better discussed in the presence of your mother. Well, well. Yours isn't a face I'm accustomed to seeing around the palace. How did you get in here? Oi! Who goes there? Now, this just won't do. How's a lady supposed to work with all these interruptions? Oh, it is you, Lady Wilhelmina. Mm-hmm. Do excuse us. We thought to enjoy a little fresh air. Though, we had hoped for slightly more privacy, if you catch my meaning. Apologies, my lady. But might I ask the name of your companion? Are you sure it would be wise? Such knowledge has been known to cost a man his head. Ah, uh, understood, my lady. If anyone asks, I shall say I saw naught. Hmm. A narrow escape. You should count yourself lucky that he was so easily flustered. I don't appreciate having my motives questioned. I did as I saw fit. Need I say more? Still, you are welcome to come calling, should the fancy take you, and should you have the gold for it. Off you go now. 
If you wish to speak further, twill have to wait. It seems you've made a discovery regarding the false sovereign. Oh. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen i know this sigil well tis the crest of the neighboring country of batal a land with which vermin has no official dealings at present let me see it reads true to our word we offer you the power of the godsway pray make haste in securing melv that all might be made ready ere our plans are set in motion. A meagre clue, to be certain. Though, tis clear that the Queen Regent conspires with Batal. This does not bode well at all. Though the political situation is stable at present, much blood has been spilt between Vermond and his neighbor in the past. I fear such a partnership would only portend the drawing of more. At any rate, to seem our search has led us to only more questions Chief among them, what is meant by securing Melv and this God's way? I will investigate these matters as best I can. In the interim, Your Majesty, should you have time to spare, might you make for Melv? Only once we have gleaned a fragment of the Queen Regent's plot, can we begin to thwart it. And ere it slips my mind, pray, take this. Perchance it will help speed you on your way to Melv. Jesus. Now there's a name to remember. As a reward for your majesty's efforts, you have been invited to attend the coronation. To it seem, congratulations are in order. You will, of course, require raiment befitting of the occasion. I would ask that your majesty return once you've procured such attire. There is much we ought to attend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim. All shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, tis best you do so before we depart. Your majesty, that attire, it... It may be unsuitable. Tis a formal affair, you see. I apologize for my brusqueness. But pray, seek out proper raiment. I shall await you here in the meantime. 
Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Do not forget that we work to... Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you. Do come again. Well met, sir. Fancy look at my wares. This really is fine, I'll switch you. Are you in the market for something in particular? Do come again. Are you in the market for something in... particular? Do come again. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only pieces of the finest quality line these shelves, and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, Just remember, many thanks. I appreciate the business. Now there's a worthy prize, if only to went so far away. Welcome to and quality is what you need if you want to survive. Five. Many thanks. I appreciate the bit.
You have no need of my assistance at present, but I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's notice. There is much we ought to attend to. All shall change once we have attended the If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, your majesty, that attire, it... It may be unsuitable. Tis a formal affair, you see. I apologize for my brusqueness. Is there aught else you would speak of, your majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. Welcome to and quality is what you need if you want to survive. Hope to see you again. Tis a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? We ought to put it to good use. See look at my wares. Nought I can do but Welcome to the We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to sit back, relax, and enjoy the finest brews in all
saying? Well, met, sir. Just that's how that's I Fancy a look at my wares? Welcome to... And quality's what you need if you want to survive. Five. Hope to see you again. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? What should I do? Very well met, Sir Arisen. Might I? Many thanks. May fortune smile upon you, kind sir. Ah, hold on a moment, Sir Arisen. Perchance you would be willing to aid me with another matter. You see, one of the children we care for here at the Gracious Hand has gone missing. Malcolm, his name is. He's a steady lad. I can't imagine he would have run away. This building's very old. It could be that he's found himself in some strange corner of it. Might I impose on you to search for him? Let us begin by gathering information. It is as you say. Places such as this. Might I beg but a moment of your time? I spend my days in quiet. Good day, sir. You here to aid me? Malcolm's been really into exploring of late. Just the other day, he was going around telling anyone who'd listen about how he was an ox hair away from making some big discovery. I wonder what it was Malcolm found. Treasure? You fond of those eyes? Malcolm? All he's doing of late is picking through rubble. Don't know why he bothered. Ooh, I'd pay a visit to the jail next, if you haven't already. The place is full of unsavory characters, as one might expect, who've seen things ordinary citizens aren't privy to. I should know. I was among their company till just recently. Take this. Tis something I found. I wanted you to have it. Oh. Always no. 
Naught I can do but wait for death to... Is... Is Malcolm all right? We were supposed to go exploring together. But I overslept, and he went without me. Wish he'd woken me up. I was really looking forward to going down into those vaults. Oh no, I wasn't meant to tell anyone that. We'd best report back. Vaults, you say? By my knowledge, they were sealed off. Ah, but you mentioned rubble, aye? Then perhaps the lad found a way through. Come, I fear there's not a moment to lose. Pray, follow me, and quickly. I believe this is the place to which the children were referring. Look there, a hole. Could he have passed through here? There is naught to be done but have a look for ourselves. The passage ahead looks small, but we may be able to squeeze through. Let us make haste. Keep your ears pricked. Our foes might betray themselves with the slightest sound. Pray, speak up should you notice or to miss. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. I'll turn you into a pin cushion. Malcolm, thank goodness you are unharmed. You have my eternal gratitude, Sir Arisen. Now I can breathe freely at last. Sir Kendrick, you'll never believe what I've found. It's just up ahead. Books, sir. Books, books, and more books. It's like some sort of secret workshop. Truly. Perhaps we ought to take a look. Shall we follow, Master? Right you are. No getting through this door. It's amazing. You'll see. Follow me. Heavens above. Isn't it amazing? And I found it. Me. Tis quite a find indeed. Is this some manner of archive? Why, I've ne'er seen so many books. This collection must be worth a fortune. Tis a veritable treasure trove of wisdom. Might I ask that you not share the existence of this place with others, Sir Arisen? We cannot allow the knowledge accumulated here to be misused or mistreated. We ought to entrust its care to someone worthy, someone who can appreciate its true value. Pray, tell me if you know of such an individual. As for you, Malcolm, I forbid you from telling anyone else about this place. It will be our little secret. Understood? Oh, but... However, in exchange for your silence, you may come and go as you please. Let's investigate this place's secrets together, eh? It near boggles the mind that so impressive an archive slumbered here. It is surely any scholar's dream. I knew it to be so. You're the books ne'er seem to end. 
Who could have brought them here, I wonder? The books ne'er seem to... This place is amazing! It is no more or less than what one might have expected. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. of me. No time to catch your breath. Try to keep up. Ears pricked. Our foes might betray themselves with the slightest sound. Naught can threaten us if we watch each other's backs. Sets my thoughts down. My head hurts just thinking about it. This looks like trouble. much we ought to tend to. If we are to... St you discovered this in the gracious hands vaults, you say. Remarkable. I imagine it would indeed be sufficient to entice the learned magistrate to leave his cell. Is there aught else you would speak of, your majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry.
There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. What's this? Come to admire my sculptures, have you? Ho <laughs> ho! To think my eminence as a collector would reach in the ears of the Arisen. If only my collection were complete, I'd fain allow you to inspect it. Alas, the sculpture that I commissioned to be its centerpiece is yet to arrive. And would wound my pride to have you behold my collection ere it is made whole. If your curiosity shall not be denied, however, mayhap you'd consider paying a visit. The man's home is located in Bak Batal. You need only tell him that I eagerly await the sculpture's completion. Let us speak with everyone we can think of who might know aught of use. Those new recruits could barely lift us. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. Well, have you found some place I might sate my scholarly curiosities? Oh, to think such a place existed. Well, guide me outside, then. If you can deliver me from this pit, I ought to be able to find the rest of the way on my own. Along. I wasn't worried for a moment. Wherever you go, we pawns will always find- I. this should be far enough. My thanks. If you truly are arisen, then I swear to someday repay this debt I owe. Words may be wind, but there's naught else I can offer you at present. Pray visit me if you have the time or inclination. Mayhap the knowledge I've gained reading tomes of Eld could be of some use to you. The 
There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your... It seems Magistrate Wardor has been safely delivered from his cell. The man's dedication to justice shall doubtless be a great boon to our cause. Mayhap it would be prudent to visit man on occasion and avail yourself of his vast stores of wisdom. He might have knowledge that could benefit you on your travels. Now, would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? I thank you. Pray. Take this. Consider it remuneration for your majesty's efforts. Huzzah! You've done it! Well done, everyone. That was over in a trice. Where to next?